If I asked you to fold this paper into thirds, you might try something like this. And inevitably, you'll be a little bit off. So you might wonder, how can we do this perfectly every single time? It's day four of learning the math behind origami from kindergarten to PhD level. Today, we're finding exact reference points using high school algebra. To fold a paper into thirds, we first pinch this right edge in half, then fold diagonally, and then fold a line from the bottom corner to the halfway pinch mark. And the intersection of those two creases lands exactly at one third. So why does this work? Well, in origami, we model the paper as the unit square on the coordinate plane. Then each crease is a line equation. The diagonal crease is y equals negative x plus one, and the other crease will be y equals one half x. Solving these two equations together gives us exactly one third. Now let's generalize it. Instead of dividing the edge in half, let's divide the right edge into n parts. And we do the same algebra. And this time we get a denominator of n plus one. So halves become thirds, thirds become fourths, fourths become fifths, and we can make any fraction that way. But we're not just limited to slopes of one over n. If we use a more general slope of a over n, the algebra then gives us a denominator of n plus a. This means we can start from any easy division, like halves, quarters, or eighths, and we can build up to any harder division in just one step. Using this crossing diagonals method, we can find any rational fraction on the paper. But even some models as simple as the traditional crane use irrational references that use square roots. And how are we going to find those? Follow along to find out on our road to PhD level origami.